This is my 2021 Indian Scout Bobber. I'm gonna do a quick build breakdown for you. Starting from the front, the Eagle LED headlight, Biker's Choice fork boots. Uh, still running the stock front tire, stock wheel, Joker machine, clutch lever, brake lever. Looks super nice, especially with the machining on the center here. I did change the bar end mirrors to, uh, they were key wave, which I thought were nice. One, because it's got a little extra detail here. Uh, they are a little bit shorter, so you can actually go full lock without either mirror touching the tank. Moving down, you've got Joker Machine shift peg, uh, matching rear brake peg on the other side. Uh, Karyakin coolant hose cover right here. Did a Dean Speed pulley cover. I do have a matching uh, clutch cover on the other side as well. Ends Cuyo Paco swing arm bag. Super nice quality, just enough space for phone, wallet, sunglasses, just about anything you need. Biggest thing over here is the DinoJet Quick Shifter. So this kit is actually designed for a regular Scout. Um, what that means is this, I, apparently the Scout's foot pegs are a little bit further forward. Uh, so this is a little bit too long. Did have to cut it. Uh, and shorten it by about an inch and three quarters. Then it was welded back together, sanded down, and just did a little carbon fiber tube over it just to kind of clean up the look. Uh, the wire for the shift sensor in the instructions, looks like they had kind of ran it towards or around the front of the pulley and then up through here. Uh, I didn't really like the idea of the cable running around here and just didn't look that clean. So I actually ran it down under and behind the kickstand here where there's a couple other wires, which I just kind of tucked it behind. And then it runs perfectly up this little channel and into the bottom of the seat through here. Just kind of tucked in the side there. And then under the seat is the little control box uh, so it keeps it pretty nice and clean. This thing's a lot of fun. It's worked really well thus far. I'm using it for about a thousand miles. Moving to the rear. Most noticeable change is the rear wheel and tire setup. So it's an RC components, uh, 16 by five and a half inch wheel. And I've got an Avon Cobra 200 millimeter uh, wide and 60 height and of course 16 that's the rim size tank machine rear fender delete uh, indian 1920 solo seat which does come with this uh, block off plate here uh, i don't have the plate on it right now but the bracket i used i actually just bolted there's two holes the 1920 solo seat bracket as is. Uh, so I just took a universal, well actually I think this was for a Kawasaki, but uh, the style and design of it worked really well. It's just a uh, tail tidy and then I got the Joker Machine Astro turn signals there. They drill through it to be able to have the license plate light there. Super clean setup. Uh, stock shocks, just kind of did some dress up, wonder kind, bolt covers, freedom performance, radical radius exhaust, it's the Dean Speed clutch cover I was mentioning before. Under the tank, uh, we've got a Trask air cleaner. Uh, and then it is tuned, the DinoJet PowerVision 3. It's got a custom tune from Fuel Moto. Give you a couple extra angles of the bike. Uh, 
know, it looks super nice with this 200 millimeter tire on the rear here. Kind of completes the rear end, especially if you go fenderless. Stock wheel is just a little bit too thin. This doesn't look as complete as it does without a 200 or I know a lot of you do the 240 kit. But yeah, very happy with how the bike has come out so far. Future mods. Uh, thinking maybe we upgrade the rear suspension with some four cartridges. Uh, and then potentially a big board kit, but I think it rides really nice as is. Do have a different bike for my uh, go fast purposes. Yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll leave some uh, links for all the products that I've used on the bike in the description for you guys.